Cheater's just a fancy word for winner. Yo, what's going on guys? So shout out to Mobilytics for that intro. If you haven't given their website a go yet, you have to give it a go guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Go sign up for free. It's gonna break down what you're doing wrong. Um, it can analyze if you're warding properly, if you're CSing correctly, your aggression. It can just break down everything, tell you what you need to be doing better. If you haven't given it a go and you're struggling in season nine, hit that link, go sign up, give it a go at least once guys. So today's video is of course about the reworked Kale. Uh, we're going to do a VOD review of Caps, of course. Caps has played plenty of Kale in the past. Um, I think he's, he's even played competitive Kale mid lane games. So he knows how to play this champion. And it's going to be super interesting to see how he plays it on 9.5 with the reworked. And just see what he can do with the champion, especially at level 16. I play tested this champion last night. I think that it's absurd how much damage you can output at level 16. Um, before our level 11 or so, this champion is really... You really stretch to even call it a champion. Uh, before level 11 when you go ranged it's super super awkward i think a couple of quality of life changes are going to be needed and maybe it's going to go top lane maybe it's going to go mid i don't know so without further ado let's get into caps's gameplay and break it down heading into the vod now guys this vod's from domi sum replays on youtube um you can see he's running that cleanse into the zoe this is definitely the best choice to unsleep yourself from the e and now that we're looking at the room pages, he's gone for that lethal tempo setup. I think that definitely lethal tempo or hail of blades is going to be the go-to on Kale. An attack oriented, um, attack speed oriented room page setup is definitely going to be optimal. You can see there he starts with the E, starts with the corrupting potion as well for a little bit more sustain. And he's versing that Zoe with the summon Airy. This is one of the things that I've been talking about as to why I don't think it's going to do that well in the mid lane. is just because into things like the Zoe, Oriana, Syndra... You're just gonna get fucked. Early on, I don't see how you can lane. So he comes in here with the Q start. Caps gets caught off guard, off guard by it, which is kind of strange considering Caps does this himself on Zoe. Um, she's shoving it in. Kale is melee with no real wave clear abilities. The E is of course an execute. Um, I think at level one it does 10%. Executes them for 10%. Um, and maybe at level five it's 20%. Of their missing health so it's a pretty big chunk at level five for sure um of an execute so you don't really want to be starting with it in trades you really want to be using it as they get chunked out a little bit more but you can see there just you have to be using it for poke because it's your only real ability and i think the the e max is definitely the best and then w into q your q is like i don't think there's a worse ability than the q it's like a it's such a strange ability man it's so clunky they so shoved in here Trying to get this wave off of the tower, of course. Level 6, when you get that empowered, um, the passive level 6 upgrade, it's a little bit better. You can start getting waves with your autos. So you have some type of AoE wave clear, but until then... You're just hanging on for dear life, my mans. This is why maybe teleport, I reckon, might not be too bad. Just because if you go the teleport setup with the corrupting into the double dark seal, at least you have some type of sustain, some type of minor sustain in the early game. Misses out on that cannon there. The Zoe has the protobot. Ooh, man. Truly is struggling. And I really don't know. Like, what do you guys think? I don't I don't really like Riot designing things like this. It's like, hey, you're going to have massive struggles entire game until level 11 where you become a champion. And then level 16, I hope everybody is ready for it because has lubed up because you're just going to be absolutely demolishing them. Oh, this is always playing it pretty good. Chow looking for cute girlfriend. That is actually disgusting. Should be forced to name change by Riot. Yeah, I don't know about the designers about this champ, man. The problem with me is that it's it's also super clunky. The W is pretty shit because when you're like max attack speed, the W stops your autos. It's not smooth. Ooh, he has to cleanse this. You can see there, you insta-cleanse, guys. You don't have to wait for the sleep to hit. You cleanse and it automatically gets rid of the bubble. Shoving in now. He is actually only 4 CS behind. Caps a world class mid laner. He knows how to get those minions even in really bad matchups and struggling scenarios like this. 
One other champion, guys, that has been upcoming as well, um, is Press the Attack. He's dead. Oh, not quite. Press the Attack, Nico. Nico on hit. Perks has been playing it. Caps has been playing it. I think this weekend, we're going to see so much priority on um, on hit Nico AD and top lane. ESG, no way. I swear, no way. I swear this guy's a streamer. Zoe picks up first blood. The Blitz has a beautiful roam. Uses that E. And of course, now guys, the E um is, it explodes. It's like an AoE, which helps out with wave clear a lot. You might see in a second here. You see how it explodes now. That's really nice to get some wave clear. That with Ludens, you can be getting really nice shoves on the waves. You might see the waves here. No, not quite. Gotta be grabbing the blue now from the Jarvan. Um. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, dude. Fucking tilted out of his mind. He. Oh my god. I haven't watched this VOD replay. <laughs> he this fucker stole the blue. He's so triggered by this. He is absolutely triggered, and I would be as well. I'd leave. I wouldn't leave the game, but I'd want to leave the game. Show me the upgraded stacks, man. Here we go. So you're going to see those waves coming out now, guys. Now, level 11, you're getting these waves from range. And that is when you start becoming an actual champion, in my opinion. But you can see here, and the, the best thing about it is the waves actually... Fuck, you might need to... No, not quite. Um, it stays for a long time, man. Like, you, you can continuously, especially with the E, you can keep five stacks for ages. Um, and obviously, this helps you clear the jungle a lot. And this is like... Uh, I think it's a good jungler from level 6 onwards, but can you not be a jungle until level 6? I don't think so. People tell me, oh, Kale could be a jungler. I don't think... You cannot gank. You, there's nothing you can possibly do. Like, I think it's trash. The only way you could very you could justify it is maybe if you do what Rat IRL does and funnel it top lane. What do you guys think? You just funnel it with a Lulu top lane with Ardent, get level 6 as fast as possible, and then you just start popping off. So Thresh finally gets a fucking um, counter roam off. Picks up the kill. He's gonna shove this in. 70 CS at 10. It's actually not as bad as I initially thought with how the lane started off. Does he get this blue? Surely. Surely he gets this blue. Garvin has learnt his lesson. This is what mid laners need to do. You need to teach your junglers the blue is yours. The W speed there you can see is a massive AoE. Like, a massive speed boost, and it's like, it's, the range is incredible on the W, which might mean Kale could be a support. He ults the Jarvan, picks up the Execute, he'll shove this wave in and probably reset, sitting on a bit of gold. Through, does Jarvan, see how that Q comes out? It kind of slows you down as well. You can't really do it while moving. Gets the kill onto the Zoe now. He's actually 3-1. And he's kind of trolled or half the game, in my opinion. Whenever you're on Kale and you know you're going to hit 16, there's always a chance. Never give up. The, ch the games I've won, I pretty much... Everything loses, and then it hits around about 25 minutes. I hit level 16, and the entire game is just won. I'm in base, losing all my inhibs, and then boom. Goodbye. I've won the game. Level 11 now. You can see he's upgraded. And right now is the switch, guys. So just watch for the switch of this champion. I think at this point in the game, Kale is actually very good. It takes 14 minutes to become relevant. But at this stage, I think you're actually very good. It's hit anyway. Looking for the all-in. Looking for the all-in. Ults himself. Flashes in with the ult and gets the kill. That's really cool. I haven't seen that before. Um... Uses it as like a uh, kind of bomb on himself, like a zillion bomb. Gets the Sheen. Gets the Aether Wisp. He's going for a Lich Bane here. And then I just noticed Corky Top 04, Siva Bot 05. This is Season 9 in a nutshell. I hope everybody should be pretty excited. We're getting a um an update on Ranked tomorrow, guys. So we're getting a big Ranked update post on if they're going to reset Ranked, if they're going to change High Elo, if they're going to do... 
tomorrow we're gonna finally find out. Are they gonna reset it? Are they gonna leave positional cues? We're gonna find out. And it, it's taken a while, but at least Riot Games is noticed. Hey, Playbase isn't happy with what ranks like. We're gonna make a change. Looking for a flank here. You gotta get this execute. This cow. Execute. Hey. Yep. There you go. Shut down. Thank you very much. Chasing in. Thresh gets a godlike hook onto no way. Self pop. Self pop. Oh, he's reused it. Goodbye. Cap's coming out of base now. So right now, I think you. Know, I, I think you need the attack speed item. I think Nash's tooth is pretty dog shit. I don't think Nash's tooth is really needed. Um. If you go for this Luden's Lich Pain build, oh fuck, he flashes out of the way. He should get this with E. Ah, uh, the Civ of the Bastard seals it. Um, I think the build path for me that has been working is actually Blade of the Ruined King into Rage Blade, into things like the PD or the uh, Rapid Fire Cannon. I think like those type of builds seem to be working better than these AP builds, but in all honesty, I run Oom very quickly, and my W heals, the ratios are pretty dog shit, so... Early days, I'm still trying to work things out, and I'll never say a champion is completely shit um, until a lot of place te testing has gone in and everyone's found out. There could be like full tank Kale with like Witsand top or something that is just incredibly broken. I don't really know yet, and a lot of champions have come out and everybody's gone, okay, this champ's dog shit. I remember Zoe, everyone's like, Zoe's dog shit. Can't, this champ can't fucking wave clear, can't do anything. And then turns out it's just, it takes a long time to master and know how to really play and pop off with it. You gotta get this. Execute with the E. Yep. It's a kill. Blitzcrank. Ooh! Another shutdown. Double kill coming through. Okay, there we go. I like it. Three more levels, guys. He's 8 and 3. Has he made outplays? He's made a couple. Most of them has just been the enemy team overextending a lot um, and making huge fucking errors. Just imagine. I, like, it's playing against it as well would be infuriating, yeah? Like, you just know that if you don't close before 16, you lose the game. It's kind of like that with Kassadin now, but I think that this champion um, is stronger than Kassadin level 16. And hopefully this game uh, caps will show you. Looking for a team fight now. Gets the ult off onto the Sivir. That uh, W movement speed at level 13 is actually fucking looking pretty good. Duking out. Moving in, getting those stacks. Here we go, here we go. What's going on? What's going on? Urgot's coming through. That was a bad flash. Watch the damage outputs. Garvin collects the kill. Oh my days, man. Mr. Ace picks up a kill. Rampage now. Just Blitzcrank. Not quite getting the hooks he needs. The Thresh is outperforming him when it comes to hooks, for sure. And this should be a Baron pickup now. Gwinsu's Rage Blade has been completed. One more level till 16. He's going to be running down now. I'm so excited for 16. Um, he has, you can see there, a dagger. I'm guessing he's going to be going for something like the PD. Um, fourth item. I don't think Nash's this late in the game is very good. I think it's more of a rush item for Nash's. Another build I'm interested in is Rod of the Ages into Nash's. Into maybe a tank setup. Here we go, here we go, you can see that. This damage output in a team fight is fucking disgusting. One more level until that's true damage. One more level. But it takes what, 24 minutes until you're 16? And he's pacing pretty good in the game, farming decently. 24, yeah, fuck guys, I don't know, 24 minutes to become a beast of a champion. Almost, almost all of my games are determined before six, uh, 24 minutes though. That's the problem. Like, pretty much all of my games are determined by then. Ooh, 16 guys. Here we go. Get your cameras ready. This is what we've all been waiting for 24 minutes into the game. We've been waiting this entire fucking time. Just show me the damage, please, Caps. Show me the damage. Be careful that Blitzcrank. If he gets the silence off, he can't ult himself. Fucking yeah, no. hell. That's pretty much a one shot. Oh, the cat. The, the, the Kazakh gets deleted as well. Hard to see the damage numbers, honestly.
Please, one more team fight, guys. Please, one more team fight. Getting the auto moves. I'm gonna close out the game now. I'm actually pretty disappointed. I want to see more. I see this fucking true damage obliterate. And the good thing is, like, if you're into a full tanky comp like the goddamn Sejuani Maokai, Scion, this champion is. It doesn't matter who you're playing, you're just shredding them. So you see there, I mean. Ah, fuck. I really wish we got to see. Oh, shit. Kaisa coming in. Go, please. Just show me the damage on the Kaisa. I beg. I beg. Go, go, go. There we go. We're seeing the damage output now, guys. It's. You, like, at level 16, it is over for the enemy team. Just leave the game like this Kaisa has done.